Hello and welcome back to Battletech Advanced 3062. I have got a pretty big video for you today. We're going to be getting up to quite a lot. I mean, we seem to be every time, don't we? Uh, so we finished that, not flashpoint, but the flare up last time. And unfortunately, we did lose a pilot, but we did gain a mech. I'd rather keep the pilot and not get the mech, if that makes sense. I think pilots are more valuable, but uh, you know, we have this atlas, which we will be gutting later today. But let's give it a test in its default form, shall we? It would be a shame to not see what this giant, you know, king-sized Kentaro is, is capable of, really. Uh, so we will go all salvage. I think we will. I don't know who the Tortuga Dominions are. But uh, they're probably going to be a little bit on the tougher side. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring the atlas in. I think that sounds like a good idea. The Atlas is going to be piloted by... Who is it going to be piloted by? I think it would make a lot of sense if it was piloted by... Somebody like... Yeah, you know what? Somebody like Orgy. Oh, no, wait. It's going up close, isn't it? So, no. Not Augustus. Not at all. In fact, it's going to be myself. Ha ha ha. I'm taking the Atlas, people. Uh, you are too injured, apparently. We're going to put Battle Axe in the Hunchback. I think I'm going to start transitioning Battle Axe into the Hunchback, so we're going to alternate in between the Blackjack and so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring Ace in here. Uh, Headhunter can stay in the Crab, that's fine. Oh, by the way, we have got some carriers. Yes, we have got this LRM carrier right here. That's another thing we've got. That's pretty awesome, right? So we do have that to use if we want. Uh, we have a bunch of battle armor as well. We're not... I don't think I'm going to use goose here. I want to bring... Oh, hang on. That's fine. Hang on. We're going to bring stencil in. In the chaparral, of course. What else have we got? Probably Augustus. I think he's still available. Do we have... To, that's it. We're pretty much out of pilots, aren't we? Yeah. Bring Ash. In his good old battle armor. And we can see if we can, maybe. Uh, no, we're not bringing in the Badger, are we? So, oops, that's a waste. Okay, I think we have our lineup. We are bringing Ash out in the Ravager. Uh, we've got the Crab, the Hunchback, Rifleman, Atlas. Remember, this is basically an SRM Atlas. It's got an AC5 while it moves closer. That's kind of decent, I suppose. Big Red and the Owens, who should have the battle armor. We've got the Chaparral back, the Trebuchet, and the Super Wasp for further scouting. Uh, yeah, let's go. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. The enemy lands us somewhere in the area, specifically there. Thinking about a raid, are they? Mm-hmm. Def consorts, snapshots. Hey, Mercs, how about you fuck off today and we call this even? All right, then, let's go. Let's leave. Nah, of course not. Uh, okay, where is my battle armor? It should be on the Owens, I believe, and it looks like it is. Yes, it actually worked. So it looks like we can handle like one battle armor per mission, which is which is fine. Uh, we want all of these saved. I think we want to go reserve all the way to the back. Oh, they've got a scorpion. Good to go. Isn't that cool? All right. Moving up. Oh, we've already got eyes on something. Very interesting. Can we sense lock it just to see it? It's an 80 tonner demolisher. Two AC-20s, yeah. The standard demolisher. Good to go. How much evasion has it got? It's got six still, so... Can we actually get up this way? I think we can. I do wonder if we can. No shooting, just running. Hmm. Okay, it is moving. Good, Good. right. Go. It's now moved, which means we can we'll probably use something uh, like fire LRMs at it. Uh, we we want to probably move Ace around here. I do think that is a good idea. Something else appearing. Vehicle or what? It is a vehicle. My Atlas has an LRM-10 for now. It's going to get rid of that. We will go this way. I think we'll stick to the road. See, if this thing had all the LRMs that I actually wanted it to have, it would be fired a lot more than that. About eight times that. Hey there. Uh, this is what we should really be using. Yes, we can get through this way. But we've got to be a little bit cautious. 
I copy. I am gonna sense lock it again. I should have done that first. I've got a sensor lock. Right, do we have much else? We have the trap roll. Probably want to get this thing back here. There we go. Give it a small height advantage. Why are you no fire? Oh, I thought you could see it. My bad. You have orders? Could have sworn you could have, but whatever, I guess. That's not bad at I all. Understand. You can jump up on those rocks next turn. I understand. He understands. Alright, that's it. Now we're applying a little bit of damage. The Super Wasp. You are just going to... I guess jump over here. Get stuck in the mud. And wait. Ready for order. And you are going to wait as well. Ash. Taking a protective stand. Okay, we are... Gonna res... Are we gonna reserve all the way back again? I think we are. I imagine they would do something similar. It's all vehicles, apart from that one mech at the top there. Ready for orders. Okay, where is... Need something, Chief? Yeah, the Owens is not in a bad Wait spot, actually. But the Super Wasp is the thing I think I want to use right now. Uh, we'll bring it over here. Just, in, just make sure this is the Demolisher. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Good. Okay. What's up, boss? Standing by. The Treb. What's the plan? It's kind of thing I want to use next. What's the safest thing to do? Not really any of this. That's not so bad. I, it's already moved, so it's probably going to be safe. This medium tank, that's nothing, really. It's armoured, but that's about it. Saw some damage reduction there. Less impressed. Right, the chaparral. Should we do this properly this time? There we go. Alright, let's do this. Oh yeah. Yes, Commander. Oh yes. With this is getting a bit close, you're kinda of going solo there. If we do that, let's hold for a moment. Might do the hunchback can still not contribute because it's a bit too uphill. Hmm. On it. I don't know. What's up, boss? What about me Atlas? Still not able to get into position just yet. Give it a bit of this. Thank you. Orders. Uh, did it say the right side? Yeah, the right side's looking pretty bad for you. I actually think this might be okay. We can. We actually have a few mechs going before it next turn anyway. We're going to go Battle Lord as well. Up the damage. Yeah. Structure exposed. It's very close. I think I hit something good. I agree. Commander. Means the Owens can probably come in here and get a finish. We're going to do that. Could drop a turret, but I think that we should seize the opportunity. There we go. Very nice. That's a big one gone. Orders. That's a very big one gone. Alright. Got the Guardian ECM. We can bring that in here. That's helpful. Yeah. A Ravager. Sit tight. Okay, good turn. I'd argue. Good turn. We're going to reserve. We're going to reserve again. Alright, what have we got? You can run all the way over here. That's a 45 ton. I'm not too worried about that then. What is it? Predator tank destroyer. Oh god, now I am worried about it. Ugh. We're going to have to wait. It's got 7 evasion. I feel like we can probably handle 1 AC-20. Do you know what? Let's sensor lock it. Make sure it does not hit us. Right, that should help. Right. 
and we're going to reserve here. We have some damage reductions, only 10%. Ah. You didn't move though. That's great for us. Heck, that's fantastic. You're an idiot. What's up, boss? Okay, we've got the Super Wasp back here. Oh, no, he's got Ace Pilot. That's that's why. I'm actually gonna reserve one more. We're gonna let that thing move, unfortunately. Okay. Do you have Ace Pilot as well? Or did you just choose not to move? No, you do have Ace Pilot and you moved quite a bit. We're fairly close. We really need to sort of go for some sensor locks here. I think I might do this and we can possibly go for the Beagle uh, probe here. It's got, well, it's got a very small range. If we get it just right, we can actually... Actually, you know what? We can probably kick you. That might be better. Because then we can tag. And he's also good against uh, vehicles, I should point out. As you can see, there's 72 damage. We've got the tag. Yes, Commander. Now what are we looking at for shots? 54s, there we go. Okay, battle axe. Oh, there you go. Not much left to you. There is not a lot left. Uh, what's this? A Corsair? Okay. Yes, Commander. Very interesting. What are your orders, Skipper? Okay. Will be done. What can we do here? We need to get some of the others involved. Ace. Ace, my boy. You can just sort of take shots, I guess. Bring one of these down. We don't need to waste as much ammo. I mean, these shots are basically not going to hit, so we'll just fire the lasers. Just in case. Reporting negative damage. Again, Report why do I not sensor lock? Awaiting orders. What is up with me? Uh, oh, look who's got... Look who... Oh, you have to disembark, wouldn't you? Well, that's something we can do. I think it's time to bring you out to play. Hello. That's an option. This is an option. That's a really fun option as well. Hmm. Well, all this damage reduction. Right, let's just take out this vehicle here. Yeah, this should be fine. <laughs> That's no joke. That is no joke. Okay. Gonna take a stand up shot here. Just on the course there. Ooh, soften it up slightly. Very slightly. Uh, these are not amazing shots. None of these are very good shots. So. Super Wasp. Up high. Over here you come. Move some evasion, please. And then, yes, this will be fine. Yeah, not, not too bad. Not perfect, but not too bad. Alright, here comes the Corsair now. What are you up to? Ooh. Really going for our battle armor there. That was not so good. Okay. Hello. Probably want to do a little bit of... Mm, this is no good. Look at these terrible shots. Okay. Let's try and just get rid of this thing. Everything you've Next got. turn, that is. 
Uh, what's what's your situation like? Not looking amazing, I must say. Might have you mount him again. Alternatively, we go target prediction. That's it. Vigilance. Now it's show time. I mean, it's all the same here, isn't it? Yeah, we do. We think we do this. Location confirmed. And we're just gonna fire everything. Them everything I've got. <laughs> Bloody hell! My flamer is in. Skipper. That was amazing. So much so you can actually get him in in one hit. Oh, love it. Right, what we're actually gonna do here? Gonna try and get some attention, I think. Yeah, here we go. Five evasions, okay. The main thing is going for a little sensor lock. Good. Commander. Like to do this. A bit worried about your left torso, though. Not to mention it's this side we kind of want to hit, isn't it? Your your left side. So but then the Atlas can. Well, no, we don't want to wait for the Atlas, do we? See if we can maybe finish it off here. There we go. No retreat. Enemy down. Target down. Good to go. The Owens. You can come all the way around the back if you want. We'll bring you around to the side for now. I don't think you can run up for a kick. I. That's a. That's a big. I don't think. Right, you are tagged. Commander. You should be very easy to hit. I'm hoping. We'll sort of get over here. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Keep melting that armor. Yes, Commander. Let's do some increased damage because you don't have quite as much damage reduction. Very good. Very good shot there. He's been a lot more on point, hasn't he? Full speed. Today, stencil, our dear old stencil. Uh, yep, keep firing. Yes, Commander. Right, can you be at all useful? We could have got you up there or something. I don't think I can now. Okay, the Corsair gets to move. The Ravager can take one more hit, I reckon. Yikes. Armor blow through. Inter hmm. Oh, hang on. Did we have some... We have line of sight. On a couple of things. Just a couple of things. It's over the Ravager, so it should be fine. We're going to go... Precision strike. Sure, precise strike, I should say. Did we just hit the uh, Ravager? We did. We just did as well. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, shoot. Right, we still got our support. That's the main thing. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, reserve here. What are your orders, Skipper? Where's the Owens? Where's the Owens? Ready for orders. Okay, there it is. This should be fine. Let's see what this baby can do. All right, keep going. Yikes! Receiving you. Okay. <laughs> mount, mount it, please. Okay, good. You're done. Waiting for orders. Okay, that wasn't so good. Uh, we're gonna go over uh, here then. Cramp's gonna get involved. Just melt a little bit more armor. Let's go. I copy. Nice. We should be very close to an armor breach. I think I'm probably gonna get you involved even in the shooting here. Could go for a sensor lock, and actually, I think we should. Or should we just have you contribute? To the melting of armor. We're so I'm close. Armed. A little bit extra. Yes, Commander. I do think will help. Uh, we're going to bring you in last there. And we are instead. 
Gonna have a chaparral, just make one more final shot. Okay. Light damage. Confirm. Well, a hunchback. Come in the back here. We could come in with a kick. Copy Let's that. do that. Oh. my weight into it. Oh yeah. Oh, we should have gone up the punch, sorry. That's what I was meant to do. Solid connection on that Still, How that was I awesome. Have... That was awesome. Alright. You're better off, I don't know. Jumping back here. Nice Going high backwards. angle shots. Yeah, we're in trouble now. And we are indeed done. Oi. Good job, Commander. Let's debrief aboard the ship. Mission successful. So, there we go. We didn't really get to see what the Atlas was about. And that's my biggest gripe with these giant 100 tonners is they're just too slow. Really? I mean, we could wait. We could wait for them to come to us. That is totally a thing we can do. It's just I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm very impatient. Uh, but yeah, I want to make an LRM carrier out of that. In case you can't tell. If we have all of those missile slots... And we've got to make that big. Why wouldn't we want to do that? Uh, okay, there wasn't really much there that was any good, to be honest with you. The demolisher, maybe. The core, I suppose. Five of these. Three AC-20s. Another part of the demolisher. We'll take a 95-ton Corsair. And I guess parts of a demolisher. If we actually get all the parts of a demolisher, which we might actually. We did. We can make a demolisher as well. Can also make another vehicle, a carrier, the the mortar carrier that was difficult to hit. Uh, we're gonna need, I'm gonna need vehicle pilots at this rate. So if anybody wants, to, if anybody's not contributed a soldier yet and wants to be a vehicle uh, driver, pilot, what's wrong with me? Um, yeah, vehicle operator. Let me know. Write down in the comments what you want your uh, character name to be and if you want them to be a particular background. I'm still trying to get Ford 6 in as a, uh, a pilot of Davian origin. There just never seem to be any. It's very annoying. Uh, but yeah, I'm do I am looking for vehicle operators, so by all means do join. Alright, so we're done here. Now, once we're done, you might notice I kept a goose out of combat there. But that is because of one very particular contract I would like to run. Didn't want him getting hurt or the mech hurt. This one here is a solo duel in a desert. And I would rather like Goose to operate this one and just basically jump behind, keep jumping behind the mech, shooting it in the back until it's taken uh until he's taken it out. I really think this is possible. I really do. Um Is there anything else I want to do? I need to go look at the mech bay, that was the thing. Uh, yeah, battle armor damaged. We're gonna have to repair this at some point, but that's that's fine for now. Very tempted to. What have you got? Stealth armor? You're very difficult to hit. You're not bad, actually. You're a decent replacement, or like in the meantime. Ash could just sit in this, jump into uh, a PPC. Sorry, the, uh, the. What's it called? The Beaver? The Badger, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, he could just jump in that, couldn't he? These are too light. Way too light. Battle armor just gets wrecked, you know? This still got wrecked. God damn. Anyway. Okay, so here it is. We're probably going to be up against a 75 tonner. It's a three and a half skull, so I'm assuming there's going to be all sorts of mm, weapons on that thing. But hopefully with evasion, we're going to get through this just fine using the Wraith. So I'm pretty confident the strategy will work. We've also got Phantom as well, don't forget. So we can get a, an evasion boost once we do get a little bit closer, making it even more difficult for us to be hit. And we are pretty well armored as well in this thing. Command interface initiated. Okay. So here we go. We are gonna take down we Killbox once and for all. So the question is, where is this Killbox? Somewhere over here. There we go. Never thought you'd see me again, Commander. <gasps> is this the duo duel that we did? And Killbox escaped. What can I do for you? That might actually be it, you know. Okay. I think it is, possibly. 
Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Gyro jets. Took a heavy hit there. I mean, those things aren't reloadable, are they? So, you just basically used all your weapons right now. Commander? That's fine. What we're going to do is jump fairly close, but not too close. Uh, so, we are going to yeah, jump here up go. here. You're also running bloody hot. So, we're just going to sit tight. And again, reserve. Because I imagine you're going to come running in. We're looking good. Still very warm. Too warm. Okay, here's the bit where we want to probably gather... Mm, you're going to come in and punch us anyway. Is there a point? Yeah, we'll do it. Have all that extra evasion if we can. And as far back here as we can as well. I... Mm. I'm going to do this. Just because it's slightly further back. Alright. Getting through some of that rear armor. Commander? What we can actually do... Oh, let's bring it back even more. Yes. Let's do it. Ah, that's unfortunate. Only one hit. I mean, we clearly outgun you. There's no doubt about that. So again, we are going to reserve. Let them move first. They're moving closer. We've been able to cool down. And we can jump in behind now. Well, actually, we've not been able to really cool down that much. But that's okay. We'll sprint this. We'll just do a regular sprint out fairly close. And remember, because we've got Ace Pilot, we can actually stay exactly where we are. Okay, rear armor is looking is down. Large laser is gone. Let's get fired up! Waiting for orders. And again. Roger, Commander. I got the shot. Unsettled. Very nice. Now we want to fall back a little bit here. Not too much. Just a bit. Got it. But yeah, we are running rings around you here. Come on, mech warriors. It's go time. Okay. Again, let's pop Phantom. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. And this is it. Do we want to do anything? I think we do, because it's getting a little bit close. So, yes, let's do this. <laughs> this is embarrassing for you. So your best bet is using melee on me. Ooh. Engine fuel cell crit. E cooling crit. Critical hit, Commander. Alright. Just not even close. We can do this. Let's Mobility go. is definitely the way to go here. I mean. Goose is just having a great fun time here. Uh, let's, you know what, let's actually go for a more precise strike. We're, we're, we're done here. We're done here. Thank you and good night. Glad you got out of that in one piece, Commander. Victories like this feel hollow, though. I wouldn't say so. I'm very satisfied with that victory. Okay. Little splash of money. Wish I went for a tiny bit more, to be honest. There wasn't anything... <laughs> Got no loot. What, what is this? This is... <laughs> nothing. We blew the whole thing up. That's why. <laughs> why did I go for more loot? Still, it was totally worth doing. It's, it was free money and it's free part of an archer, so... Whatever. I'll take it. Alright, well, those are your missions for the day. But we have got a lot of work to do in the mech bays. And that's where, where we are going to be spending most of the, uh, the rest of this video. Uh, because there are three mechs I want to gut and redo. One of them won't surprise you, and that's the one we will do first. We will, in fact, begin with the Atlas. Because I want to make that an LRM carrier. Um, I should point out, I don't know if I mentioned it at the start, the, I am recording this before uh, last week's video. Because it's been a couple of weeks since I've played, because, because you can't save mid-mission. I had to, like, run the mission, so end up getting quite a backlog of Battletech, but I'm really like, I'm fine. This is what I was going to do with the Atlas anyway. My heart is set on this. 
what I want to do with it. Um, okay. When you're ready, let's do this. So, we have some repairs to make, kind of all around, all over the place. Actually, it's not too bad. Okay, we're going to get rid of everything here. This is this is unneeded. This is unneeded. There are going to be no SRMs on this thing. I'm sure if this thing was up close with all of those SRMs, it would be like, whoa, that's amazing. But, nah, you're all right. Uh, we don't need this. I don't think we'll need this heatsink. We might need it. We'll see. Okay, that's what we've got to pay for now. But we are going to we are going to make some adjustments later on. LRMs, one, two, three. That's three LRM twenties, and then over here an LRM fifteen, just because it saves a little bit of weight. Not much, just a little bit. Okay, as you see, we're now hitting a hundred tons. So that's before we even add ammo. Uh, we are not going to add an XL engine. I am instead going to reduce the engine because we don't need to move as much. That's just a fact. Uh, over here, we'll move 84 meters, 126. If we bring this down to a 260, what have we got? 7,209. That's fine. It's what, a few, what, three hexes? Let's say three, really, which is okay. It just needs to shuffle up a little bit each time. Uh, then we're going to go also back to internals here. We want to add some ammo. We want to add case first of all, sorry. Then we want to add ammo. I uh, feel like I'm missing something. I was thinking of... No, that's all I was going to do. Yeah. Mm. Ah, right. We can't have this, can we? Yeah. Let's bring one of those heat sinks back. And what are we looking at in terms of heat sinking? Perfect. That's actually perfect. Just a little bit more heat sinking than our Alpha Strike. Because it means in desert environments, we should be able to get by of at least these three LRM-20s fairly comfortably. Okay. Uh, yes. Let's add... I want eight tons of ammo. Is what I actually want here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I think I'm also going to try and add some ferro here then. Okay, that brings us back down to 100. Now I want to shave one more ton off of this. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Two. One, two, three. We can make this 150 each, I think. Two. One, two. 180, 150. Yeah. That's okay. That gives us one ton. And with that one ton, I want to add something a little bit more interesting. I want to add the drone airdrop beacon. So this thing can deploy drones to go, a drone to go and scout for it, basically, is the idea. It can almost act as a separate entity, which I'm, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that, actually. Uh, ammo, more on this, less on this. Okay. Durability is still looking quite nice. What are we up to? 14.30. Yeah, that's fine. Do we need this much on the legs? I really don't think we do. I think the torso is more important, personally. That's just me. Uh, is it control? Oh, crap, it's not. I always press the wrong one, you know? Right, shift. Must be shift. Yes, here we go. Uh, I guess that. All right. 23 days, 450,000 space dollars. That is quite a lot. But this is one monster of an LRM carrier. Uh, I've already done the calculations. I believe this is enough for just over 12 rounds of ammo. That's 12 alpha strikes. That is insane. That is enough. I think that is actually enough. <laughs> it can last a, a long time. I mean, what's going to survive that anyway? So, very expensive. Uh, but away we go. Right, now to complement this, yes we've got the drone drop, but I actually want the wasp to complement it. Now I've had some very good suggestions for the wasp um, over the course of the playthrough, because I was looking at them and I was like, nah, not really keen on this thing. Uh, but I think we found a way to make it work here. And that is, we're going to add a tag. I'm going to add a narc launcher here in the foot. So we're going to bring, for the sake of symmetry, move these all up here. We'll bring some ammo out. We're actually going to put the ammo here. And I had a reason for that. What was that reason again? I was, uh, hang on, let me check my actual... Adding the... Oh yes, adding the AMS. Right, yes, we are also adding an AMS. We'll keep the ammo sort of together. Might as well at that point. 
we're getting shots in the leg up we're done anyway so whatever uh yeah we're gonna keep this as an xl engine what is the difference anyway two and a half tons i think i like the idea of it still having uh, we actually need to add sorry the ams don't we there it is okay so we can tag stuff it's got the narc launcher which is going to really help the atlas out and on top of that we have an ams so that it can intercept LRMs and stuff and SRMs as well I think so yeah pretty good we do need to lose half a ton of armor I am more tempted to just use this to save it and we up that armor that's it I don't really want to lose any armor on this thing <laughs> is this worth it I wonder we might lose the Pharaoh at some point just so we can use it somewhere else uh, but five days 26,000 it's a cheap alteration and it becomes a really good support mech it's going to be piloted by tristan who i also i think in terms of the barracks i need to allocate some points by the way i'm a little bit behind oh wow just more than a little bit actually mind we did just do a mission or two didn't we um, i'm sure i did all these off camera goose not goose that's tristan there he is Yes, I've just given him this. Invisible target, this pilot's evasive charges are immune to being removed by sensor lock effects. Additionally, pilot gets plus two defense at all times. So he's going to be almost impossible to hit in that wasp. And that's what we're going for there. Well, that's not where we want to be. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's what the super wasp is going to be all about. Uh, so 10 days, it's saying, really? And that's not what I was looking. I was looking for manage tasks. Okay, right. That's fine. Repair scaffolding. Ah, that'll speed things up. Right, the third one is, of course, the Talos R.I.P. Defi. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, yeah. This thing is cursed when it's up close. Absolutely cursed. So we are going to bring this back as a sort of long-range support. And it's going to have a little bit of additional utility. Uh, I... No, yeah, we are going to get rid of these small lasers. Uh, we're also going to add an XL engine. So we've really got a lot of weight to play with here. Okay, so a 70 tonner could use a touch more armor just because we just seem to have terrible luck in this thing. Uh, right, weapon wise, we are in fact going to go with that last LRM 20 over here and an LRM 15 here. We're going to get rid of this ammo, sorry. Uh, we are going to add some case wherever you be. There you are. Uh, do we need that heat sink? I don't think we will. However, I am also going to add an AC2 here. Let me take a look at what, what the heat says here. We can lose that heat sink. That's fine. Saves a ton. Uh, heat sinking's looking very nice. That's pretty much all the weapons it's going to have. And we're also, if anything, I'd be tempted to increase the core slightly. Just to, so that we can add evasion when necessary. But I think after we add a bunch of other stuff, that's not going to be a problem. Because ammo, AC2. And then, oh perfect, four tons of LRM is what I was sort of thinking. It's about half the Atlas. This means it should last also about 12 rounds, maybe because it's a 15 and a 20, probably about 13. The AC2 itself as well will also last just over 12 rounds. So yeah, it contributes quite nicely. Uh, we've got room, a bit more room than I was expecting here. So I think armoring up this to the max is the way to go. We're going to make sure we are covered a bit on the rear here. 180, half a ton. Okay, good. That's, that gives us four and a half tons to play with. Let's look at some of the other equipment we can add. I would like a Guardian, Guardian ECM on this thing. And then I actually want to add the Battle Mech airdrop as well. So in fact, the Guardian ECM is, excuse me. Yeah, you can move. Guardian ECM can just go in the head, I suppose. And Battle Mech airdrop can go in the torso. So this thing is going to be real just support like it can bring in a mech, it can support from long range. It's not going to get into a fight itself. Um, and the engine is sorted here. Do we maybe want to lower a bit of this arm just to increase this, the legs here slightly? Looks pretty good to me. Okay, I'm quite happy with this change. Again, it's a pricey one, 350,000. It's going to take 26 days which is a long time. The Guardian ECM will help keep it alive as well as anything in close proximity. Uh, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, that's fine. This will all be repaired. Confirm. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Yeah. Quite a schedule we've got here, isn't it? Okay, let's have a quick look at our battle armor then. 
and a refit here. We are lacking in weapons <laughs> to give this thing, I reckon. Uh, let's repair all. I really shouldn't have done what I did there. We only lost uh, a couple of weapons, it would seem. Battle armor here. Yeah, it would seem we only lost a couple. I guess the Gauss rifles, right? Oh, right, that's, we only had the one. Battle armor minigun. Machine gun, sorry. To deal crits. I don't know. Don't really like that. What's a small laser? Like 10 damage? No stability, though. We have no more slots for... Hmm. Right, that's how we, 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 we've got... Why can't I remove that? Let's undo that. that. That's why. It does get a bit messed up, you see. Right, what's the SRM4 like? That's That weighs a good bit. What do these all weigh? 0.4 rocket launcher? 0.2. So we go U, 0.2, and then this is 0.2 as well. Okay, great. That takes one day. That's nothing. That's, that's actually nothing. Okay, let's manage the tasks here. Let's actually put this up top. The Atlas and Super Wasp, but Talos can wait. Like, we don't need that in operation straight away. Uh, that's all we actually want to do in this system. So I guess it's now off to navigate. We're getting through all of this quite quickly here. We've got a lot done. I'm very pleased. We are going to head up. We want to head towards Solaris, which I think is over here. Wow, what a good guess. Uh, I am looking... For either a three or a three and a half skull system is what I want to do. So what have we got? What's this? And how long do you take? 37 days. That's not bad. We need this to take about... I want the Atlas and the Wasp done, so we need about a 30 day journey, I would say. 41, that's not really... That's a one skull system. 29... We could go somewhere else altogether. Over this side, we've got Zion here, but that's 41. I feel like that's a bit of a waste of days, if that makes sense. 41. Mm. Bernardo. Factory world. That's interesting. So that will produce mechs. Comstar presence. I think we might have found our system. I think we have. I do have enough money, right? to get by. I just need to make sure of that. Yeah, we do. We, we've got enough to pay for the wages for a month, plus the travel up here to Bernardo. Whoever he is, having a place named after himself, honestly. Alright, away we go. My superiors, thank you for your willingness to take on challenging tasks. Uh, that's good. It's good that we're friends. Okay, no text, no mechs. Ah, crap, not this. Uh, we can't lose the text right now. Allocate here, I can't afford that. Okay. We're going to set aside some money for the mech text, but not the mech warrior. Sorry about that. The half a mil is all I can really afford to do. Ace has gained the tag rebellious. Ugh. That's not good. Lose half a mil, but we do gain four tech points, which means everything's going to be built a lot sooner. So... That actually is pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. That's fine. That that does help us a lot. Those upgrades you asked for? Okay, we've got the repair scaffolding back. Current funds eight hundred and sixty-six thousand. Not quite enough to get by, but that won't be an issue in the future. I'm hoping sixteen days of travel time will be fine. We'll be okay. I'm hoping. Uh, right, before we go any further, whilst we're halfway through travelling, let's have a quick look at our vehicle bay. Uh, so we, yes, we have this LRM carrier. How awesome is that? We also have the ability to get something else. We have a demo we need to get a demolisher. Oh. It utilises 10 tons of armour. It's decently well armoured. Like, it's not amazing but it's not that bad but I'm very tempted by this carrier two times mortars and those mortars I'm not mistaken they have pretty good range I think I want to ready this thing up would it cost money or that oh. asked for. no it's it doesn't and possibly the demolisher 
Maybe we'll sell the demolisher. I don't know. We'll take a look at this. This mortar. What's the range again? 760. Pretty good. And you can do it from out of sight and it's AOE. Low profile means it's also difficult to hit. That's why we have troubles hitting it. So it's plus one in CBT and plus one on a 2D6 roll. So basically changes the odds about 8.3%. So that really does, you know, can be the difference between life and death, essentially. I'm glad it gave me the percentage there. I wouldn't have <laughs> been able to work out the math there. Uh, yeah. The armor on this is also half decent as well on the hunter and good old LRM carrier yeah I need vehicle drivers so guys who have not signed up yet sign up we're waiting for you and if you want to use the demolisher let me know we can bring the demolisher out I'm not gonna complain our nest egg is just about gone commander Dragoons to sell light fusion tech on open market. One of the worst kept secrets in modern technological development is that the, Le the Lyran Alliance groundbreaking light fusion engines are in fact developed from a stolen prototype belonging to Wolf's Dragoons. Well, there you go. That's our badger, isn't it? They've agreed to sell it to the Free Worlds League. And we're going to be around the Free Worlds League as well. Dragonus Combine and select MRBC registered mercenary command. So we should see some of that light fusion tech a little bit more, which is very interesting. So those are light engines, uh, which I was hoping to get, actually. Very much hoping to get. They're really good. Uh, right, in fact, we are cutting... Uh, is this... Uh, no, I don't think we need to... There's, there's nothing there of relevance. <laughs> I thought we were in trouble for a moment. But no, we're fine. Uh, eight days of travel to go. And we're going to get the Talos 2 back in time. Oh, crap. I just realized I forgot to... Um, I forgot to build. I've just wasted like two weeks of building time on the Argo. Mind you, we can't afford much, can we? Pay the membership fee for the black market. I mean, we kind of have to do that, right? Yeah, we'll do it. It's the black market, for God's sake. Okay. Engineering. Oh, God. Oh, we can't afford anything anyway, so no point. I mean, getting on the black market is worth it. Right, please tell me that's the last jump. Yes, we're there. Wow, we got through millions. But we are a much stronger force now. Ooh! Not kidding. I don't see any contracts though. Oh, we've got one day of travel left. Just let us, let us get there and then we can do some contracts, yeah? <laughs> Waypoint reached, Commander. Okay, let's have a quick look at the store. A very quick look at the store. We have everybody but Succubus back. Uh, what is going on here? What are you? The Augustus! Augie! Augie, it could have been something for you! It's got a bunch of LBXs too. It's actually quite a safe thing to drive. Because you're, you're going to be far away. LBX 2AC, not not a bad little thing, actually. Developed by Star League. It was obsolete even by the time of Star League. <laughs> uh, but it was later resurrected by Brooks Incorporated during the 3060s for some limited production runs. It is quite different. 4 to 6 move. Has mad armor. Really, that's really good. For a vehicle, a Devastator. What? Two AC-20s and a bit extra just to really, you know, rub it in your face. That's kind of nuts. A Ballista Sniper Artillery. 1400 meters. Are you serious? This is the factory world, remember, that we're on. And it, we can finally see some mechs here as well. Look. The... what the... how do I even say that? Heck... Hecatonocoris, hecatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatac
Oh, the mobile Lontom. Are you kidding me? We can fire in like nukes. 70 damage, generate stupid heat. Oh, I want all the stuff. Mark two, LRM carrier. Three LRM 20s. Ah, okay, it's got a bit of quality ammo. That's pretty good, actually. Mengausch, is this just like a light tank? Yeah, it is. Mobile headquarters, what would this do? It has the, it has a mobile airdrop beacon for battle armor, strafing run, turret. It has all the um, beacons. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's fascinating. Okay. What's the, what's the thing? What's the thing about this? It's not too quick. It's not badly. It's not too badly armored, actually. Mobile field base must be something similar. I'd have thought it's armor repair, right? Bloody hell, the Ontos. All the medium lasers. Ah, it's a 95 tonner. Must be well armored. Fairly well armored, yeah. That's a lot of that's a lot of laser. The Poe. That's some Gauss. Shame I'm coming here with no money. You fire two arrows. C3 Master. Oh, I've been looking for one of these. But it fires what? Two arrows? Are you serious? Two arrow fours. And has a bunch of other stuff. Arrow four Inferno. Oh my god. I, I'd happily exchange my Chaparral for that. Surely. That'd be a good idea, right? We've got a carrier. SRM6 carrier. That's way too risky. Uh, Steigen. This is a strike tank. This looks like it's a... Uh, what do you call it? VTOL? Yeah, it is. Sleep near APC. It's got a bit of armor to it. Does it have compartments for to shoot out of? Infantry compartment? I don't think so, no. And you also produce trebuchets and wolverines, which is very interesting. Bloody fascinating. Battle armor mag shots. Gauss rifle. Pretty interesting. Battle armor LBXAC. Yeah, so I'm going to be just going in here announcing what everything is. It might be quite annoying. I'm just a little bit like, whoa. Ooh, rotary AC5. Ooh. Six burst variants. So basically, it's like a revolving auto cannon. It And you shoot like, what, five a time? It can spin off up to six shots in one burst, but it risks jamming and being worthless for a time in doing so. So it adds does add some serious risk, but it really adds some serious reward. That, I'd love to slap that on the... Um, uh, the what do you call it? The rifleman. That ton, loads of armor. Up the armor, up the ammo. We kind of just go in with loads of AC5, right? That'd be amazing. I, I want that. I just don't know if we're going to get the money for it. Snub nose PPC, whatever. Rocket launchers, tags. Must be some interesting things down here. Engine fuel cell. What's that all about? Plus twenty percent. This component, component, sorry, this component generates minus 10 heat per turn. Oh. Do we slap that over the engine? Is that it? That's interesting. There's some ferro and it's unlimited. That's also quite good. A foot scissor? Kicks do 10% more damage? That's awesome. That's really cool, actually. Uh, and it doesn't weigh anything. Can we slap that on the Owens? It could be a little vehicle, you know, slayer, basically. Double heat sink kit. I'd love one of those. I need millions. Many, many more millions. We also have some permanent contracts here. Uh, for instance, permanent contract for the light MRM turret airdrop. That would be good because the MRMs are longer range. I could still use something better. I'd like something more. Like an LRM would be better. Uh, range finders can be nice. Rocket ammo feed, sure. Shoulder onslaught. Charges do more damage. That sounds insanity. That sounds like absolute insanity. Well, there we go, guys. You've seen the store. There's a lot to discuss here. A lot to discuss. Let's have a quick look at our contracts. Why are there no contracts in the area? This is... Oh, this is it. What's that screen meant to be? That's what I'm wondering. You're busy giving me a... A heart attack. Okay, the, against the Marin he hegemony, 
Uh, we've got you against just a group of mercenaries. Recovery again, which is, again, not good for money. Attack and defense are worth quite a lot. Against the Lyran Commonwealth, I think we need we need a cash injection. We're going to have to come back to this world at some point. We've got a blackout mission here. Against the pirates, though, I'd rather not. And here we've got money, salvage, yeah, bounty hunting. Okay, next time we're going to get through a few of these contracts. Um, we go back to the store. Was there uh, the black market as well here, did it say? Don't know, but I think we have access to it around. It should appear, possibly, on the map now. There's no filter. Not sure if it does appear. Store filter. Black market? No. No. Okay, I guess we just have to look out for them, possibly. I don't know what it was I paid for there, to be honest. I wonder what it was I actually paid for. Uh, what's going on over here? I'm seeing two different... Primary flashpoint. Ah, the Rhino Restoration! We'll have to go back down there at some point. Hmm. Rough customers. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. It says in the two months that follow. Okay, I see they've gone from two years to two months in terms of the uh, the fall of the Orano Restoration. Okay, it's unfortunate that we can't really do a lot there. I still want to go check out Solaris, and I also I actually do want to go check out the clans as well. I want some clan tech, and then I want to come back down. The problem is the travel time is so pricey. It really is. Hmm. Maybe we should sell some of these. I don't think we need this hunter anymore. I don't know why I picked it up now. Because I would just use a carrier. Like, surely. Though the carrier obviously is paper thin. So, send the hunt. We'll still send the hunter to storage. And I am thinking we then maybe sell it. Let's, let's look at what we can sell here. That is worth next to nothing. Yikes. <laughs> we need to earn some money doing those contracts. Uh, but either way, we've got all of our mechs up and running, so let's go take a quick look at them. We go to the actual mech bays. Yes, we've got our new Atlas. Looking absolutely dashing. With all of the LRMs. Those don't look so much like LRM launchers, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, the Rifleman. This is the thing I want to give that rotatory AC-5-2 is what I was thinking. Currently it's got a UAC-5. A rotary we could do four at a time and save a bunch of tonnage and then maybe add something else. Like another, I was going to say another large laser. Oh, that's because of battle armor. Yeah, let's... I guess we'll end the video here. Okay, that'll do for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. We got through a lot and we've got a lot more to do. We need to earn a lot more money. So, yeah. Missions next time. Many, many more missions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.